To open up the boot, release the straps. It's important that you close them down on themselves so they don't stick to each other or stick to anything else. Remove the shell from the boot and open up the inner padding. Open the boot up wide and slide your foot down into the boot. Make sure your foot lies flat against the bottom of the boot. Make sure your heel is in the bottom and in the back. Keep a little pressure on your heel while you're applying the boot and lay the padding down. The velcro goes on the top and you'll do the same thing on your leg. Tuck the padding in with the velcro on the top. Once the padding's down, you'll put the shell onto the boot. you notice the velcro on the shell matches up with the velcro on the boot so you know which end goes up. You'll notice the flanges down by your toes slide on the inside of the boot and up on your leg they'll stay up on the outside of the boot. Next you'll strap down over the top. This is where you make the boot tight. Now you want it tight enough so that your foot isn't going to move at all when you're walking. Do the same thing around your leg. Make sure the boot is nice and snug. Once you have the straps down, you're going to put some air into the boot. You can see how there's two holes on each side of the ankle. This is your pump with an inflate and a deflate nozzle. And these holes connect to air pockets that run the length of the boot. You'll take your inflate nozzle and you're going to push and twist at the same time. And that locks you into place. What you don't want to do is try and screw the bulb into the boot. That will make it disengage and come right out. You're going to push and twist at the same time and that locks you into place. Tug lightly to make sure that you're locked in. Give the bulb a few pumps. To take it out, just twist it again. You'll do the same thing on the other side. Push and twist at the same time. Check lightly. If you're not locked in, the bulb will slide right out. Push, twist, and tug lightly and make sure the bulb is locked in place. What these air pockets are doing is compressing your ankle and leg from both sides to anchor your heel down in the bottom of the boot. That way, you can make sure that your heel doesn't slip up out of the boot while you're walking and put pressure directly on the front of your foot. So when in doubt, make sure you have enough air in the back of the boot so that your heel isn't sliding up and down or side to side. To remove the boot, you'll do the same thing with the deflate side of the pump. Push, twist, and just pump the bulb until it stays flat. That way you know all the air is completely out of those air pockets. When you go to put the boot back on, make sure that those air pockets are completely deflated, otherwise it won't give you a proper fit. Make sure that the shoe that you wear on your non-surgical foot is similar in height to the boot. That way you'll be walking on a more even surface. You should be wearing the boot anytime that you're up and about walking around on your feet. You can take it off at night when you go to bed and take it off if you're sitting down or laying down for any length of time. Otherwise you should have the boot on. Do not drive in the boot if your surgical foot is your right foot. Wear the post-operative shoe that you are given directly after surgery to drive. Once you get to your destination, switch back to the boot.